Hi guys, Tony and Drew here from Dive Tech in Grand Cayman, and we want to talk to you real quick about proper hose routing. What we want to do is we want to make sure that all of our hoses are routed neatly on our rebreather. We want to avoid danglies and loops that hang off like this. Now sometimes that can be challenging to find the correct length hose. I'm going to show you a little trick today on how you can make your own custom length low pressure hoses. Okay, so as you can see, this hose is way too long. We need to take a couple of inches off this hose. And there's an easy way to do that using an omni-swivel part called a hose repair kit. They make it in a couple of different versions. Uh, the differences basically are the end fittings on here. It's really important to make sure that when you measure this, you have somebody actually wearing the unit so you can get a really accurate length of how much you need to cut. If you're trying to do this without somebody wearing the unit, you may end up taking too much off or too little. Now we can see here, with the hose disconnected, the routing looks pretty acceptable, but we need to take a considerable length off this. So the first thing we're going to do is mark this, and then we're actually going to cut the hose and install a new fitting on it. Okay, these fittings were designed to be used on rubber low pressure hoses, however they will work on braided style hoses as well. These are the fittings, and you can see we have two different ends here. This is a 3 8 24, this is a 9 16 18, and they're designed to be uh, fitted to either end of the low pressure hose respectively. Either one consists of two parts. You have this, which gets screwed on over the low pressure hose, and then this fitting here gets screwed into this piece, the two together, as they get tightened, will compress the hose, creating an airtight seal. We're going to start by taking this collar and we're going to screw it over the end of our cut hose. And after we get that started, we're going to take our other fitting and we're going to just start it. And then we're going to finish screwing this end onto the hose. We would like the hose to be completely inserted all the way into this fitting. This has backwards threads and it's important to note because you need to turn it in the opposite direction you normally would. And once we snug this all the way so that this fitting is all the way on the hose, we can finish tightening this piece in. Okay, now we have the correct length hose and a nice, neat, tidy routing. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys diving with us soon.